Well, as we mentioned earlier in the newscast, Port Aransas residents who left before Harvey hit are now being allowed back into that city on a very limited basis. Jane Caffrey is there live and she joins us now by cell phone, which as you know these days is a trick in itself to get working. Jane, have you had a chance to talk to any of the people yet who are trying to get in? Yeah, Mike, we have and you can just imagine the answer and the anxiety as people are now slowly entering Port Aransas and not knowing what to expect. People's homes could be very well gone and they're worried about that. A lot of people that, that we spoke to also said that they had to leave very quickly and so they were in a rush to pack things up and are worried about things that they left behind. One family had left some birth certificates of their children behind so that's something that they're obviously very concerned about and um, they're slowly trickling and they have from noon to six to go to their homes, do what they have to do and get out today. And as we mentioned earlier, it is only Port Aransas residents must have a valid ID with a Port Aransas address, adults only, and the city's asking that they wear heavy duty boots and bring gloves in. But you have seen the pictures and you know that Port Aransas, a lot of the businesses are gone. The marina is a sinkhole. So it is expected to be a, a tough situation for a lot of these residents and they are worried about it as they're going back to their hometown. Mike. All right, Jane Caffrey reporting live by cell phone from Port Aransas as folks try to get back into their city. And again, we mentioned earlier that patience may be a key here. Certainly, I think it is going to apply there as well.